Some of you might be thinking, how the hell did he guess that? And some of you might be thinking, he probably pre-watched it and is just cheating. Let me tell you something, right? Okay, first of all, there's nothing I can tell you to convince otherwise. If you've already convinced yourself that I cheated, then it is what it is. But I have something to tell you guys. Let me tell you my daily schedule. I wake up at 7 a.m. every morning so I can study for two hours before going to work. This study involves prep or software engineering roles so that I can have a chance at better jobs. 9 to 5, I work. Then, from 5 to 9 is YouTube and TikTok. And then, for 2 hours between 9 to 11, I eat dinner and I pass the fuck out to repeat it every fucking day. Do you think that in the limited 2 free hours I have, I'm gonna fucking peek ahead to see who, if I can guess it right, so that I can try to like impress you guys that I don't even know? I love you guys, but I don't know you guys, right? No, come on now, I got better things to do! Hopefully you'll understand, I fucking guessed that shit. If you understand my logic of thinking outside the box, you know, there's 12 pictures, yet there's gotta be, you, you just, it's just randomly gonna be one? No, it doesn't make sense. There's gotta be a much, much like different, more interesting way. And if you looked at the pictures, Yoshinon was there. Now it's looking like it's no longer a harm. We're running a fucking daycare. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Little. I gotta go potty. <laughs> Yoshinon didn't change, did she? I don't know. Ah, did she get tinier? Just a bit more? Oh? That's Kaguya? I thought... Oh, interesting. I was talking about how, you know, Kaguya was always wearing dark colors the last couple episodes, but it swapped. I wonder if Kotori changed to Black Ribbon Kotori, if she gets sassier. It's a fucking daycare, dude. This is cute, though. Yeah, this is actually really cute. Elliot again. Natsumi? Never mind, it's not Elliot. Oh, shit, it's Westcott. You're not... You're not gonna... Attack... The kids in the daycare, right? Are they talking about Natsumi, yeah? Natsumi's top route. We're gonna school still? Origami and Toka showing up as babies? So gross. Yeah, the humans didn't get affected. Uh, hey. How was our date, bro? <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Teacher as well? Could you imagine if it's Westcott or Ellen? Are they at school? Nah, -uh, it's little baby Toka! Oh! That's right, you see the camera? They all go to Yoshino too? You guys are... Uh, how do we even explain this? Like... Oh, they just turn into kids? Would they just believe that shit? What do you got me? <laughs> it's... She took on the... It's, Papa! What do you got me? Even in this baby form, it's still so funny. Are you sure about that? You fucking lollycock. <laughs> Our reputation isn't that bad? Hmm? They changed. Who is it? What the fuck is she wearing that outfit for? Why? Why did she change? That light. Natsumi. <laughs> There's like five kids he's carrying. Oh, even her house got changed. Natsumi is pranking us pretty hard, isn't she? What What is your deal? What, what do you want? You think this is fun? I guess so, kind of, yeah. Natsumi again. Uh, Natsumi, you're, you're, you're a fucking pedo, Natsumi. No, this isn't even on Shido, dude. This is all on Natsumi. Natsumi is a fucking lollicon. Bro, I can't be watching this shit. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are they in a person? Of They're in a cage! What the fuck? <laughs> no! This is so bad. She is not holding back at all. But like, what does this really do? These are just random pranks. Like, what, what, what? I thought she'd actually... Something more lethal. DEM? If she gets in trouble with Ellen and Westcott, because, you know, they said that she's the next priority, Shido helps out, fights them off, then that's probably one way we can get Natsumi on her side. I wonder why uh, Westcott wants Natsumi. He wants to invert her? Next? 
Friend? I don't think about friends. Oh shit, Adeptus 1 is here. Not really, no. To invert? Hey, what's his goal here? And they're just candy canes. Yep. How are you gonna fight her? Hmm? What do they turn into? What? What I'm telling? Oh, is Ellen a kid too? <laughs> oh my god! Little Ellen! Oh! That is actually pretty cute. Yeah? The kid shouldn't be saying that! Oh, that was so fast! Holy shit, dude! What the fuck? Maybe she'll revert her form. I don't know. That was a cool attack, though. Dude. <laughs> the fact that a kid like is just talking like... Oh, okay. So if she gets injured, then her powers revert. I wonder if that means that, you know, back at home, they would turn. I kind of feel bad for Natsumi now. Shido? Anybody? Sandal fun. Shido. Toka? Baby Toka? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then the rest of the AST will help us, yeah? <laughs> I mean, I did say I want to see, you know, all the kid forms in their astral dress and their angels. Dude, Sandalphone is so big, but it's even funnier because Toka's smaller. <laughs> Okay, so? It's still Ellen, though. Yeah, Ellen never cared about the backup. Use the backup against Ellen? I bet Ellen would just kill him, to be honest. I don't think Ellen really cares. Would she care? I'm surprised she didn't cut him up so quick. Ah, okay, we're just running away, okay. What is this power? This is new. Braxness has that kind of power? Alright. Damn, that's pretty convenient. See, she never cared. But that's really funny, because isn't she also a pawn to Westcott? Neither am I. But there's actually 23, but 8 are gonna be used to kill Westcott somehow. That's their plan. It's a convenient excuse. Huh. Drop the satellites so... Like... They're just gonna fall down? She looks like she returned back to normal, right? I think so? Yeah, she did. Oh, so I just fucking realized. I just mentioned all the different humans fucking turned into lollies, remember? But Origami did too. What does that mean? W what does that mean? Because the growth trio... N n none of the other humans involved were turned into lollies, but... Why did Origami turn into one? Is this another fucking Kotori moment? Is Origami also a spirit? They're trying to assassinate Origami? Wesco said that they were trying to get Origami on board for something, right? Because he said we need to make use of somebody that could hurt you, Ellen. Last couple episodes ago. She got a cat scratch. That's me scratched her. <laughs> what? She's like a cat? Be on guard. Oh. She's so insecure. Yeah, like, we didn't even see a real form back then. No. No, we didn't. That was a misunderstanding. That's all on you. Oh my god. I wonder if her mindset is that of a child, too? If this is a real form? Yeah. Because a kid has no sexual appeal except to pedophiles, so... She, Natsumi was just catfishing, so... If she would turn into a natural child, then she wouldn't feel the same way. Then Natsumi would get all angry. Hmm. Okay, first of all, you're a toddler. Of course fucking not. This is an interesting logic, but I kind of understand what she's saying. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> you deserve that. I, like, I know what he was trying to say, but when you really try to understand what he was saying, <laughs> he was so proud about you being a child. <laughs> oh, God. Bro! 
I know! To find attractive! Like she's cute, but we can't be saying that shit, bro! Huh? What? This looks like a massage place. Uh, beauty salon. Beauty salon too. But you can't. A beauty salon can't change a child into adult form. What are you gonna do? Give her some different makeover? And... You're not even ugly. But like. We're... <laughs> you just. How is it gonna work? What the f. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is just more Lolicon fan service. <laughs> like, okay, so we're just gonna give her a massage. But like, how is this gonna change her form? You know, thank god Miku is doing this, cause, cause you imagine if Shida was the one doing this? Well, no! It's not even that! Cause Miku's fucking rolls both ways! Dude, the fucking... Like, like the, the double standards doesn't even work here, bro! They're hairdressers? Really? You guys can cut hair? Okay. It doesn't... I don't... It looks the same to me, but okay. <laughs> Oh, they didn't finish yet. Okay, let, let's see the new form. Yoshino is gonna dress you up? You know, this is kind of nice. This isn't a date with Shido. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say, this isn't really a date with Shido, but with all the different girls, it makes it less creepy. When did she have such good makeup? I guess turning to Shiri a lot really made him better. <laughs> oh. Hey, yo. No, it's not like that! <laughs> Just forget the fact you're a guy, you'll be a girl. <laughs> sure, why not? It's so weird hearing his actual voice, but his tit implants are still there. <laughs> okay, you gave her a makeover. You pretty much just gave her a new outfit. The hair looks the same even though you did a haircut. <laughs> his voice changed again. It's, so, her issue wasn't the fact that she's a lolly, it's just she didn't like her haircut and her overall ex I, I don't, I don't know. Does this really give her sexual appeal? I don't even think about that. That's weird as fuck. <laughs> okay. She's kind of funny like this. What's going on with Origami? It's Master Sergeant! To recruit her? Mm. To do what? Tobi- Ah! Good, good. Good, because that's the thing I love about Origami as a season 2. Because DEM showed up, now Origami has a reason to side with us and fight against them, right? But she wouldn't go back, right? Unless she just straight up gets kidnapped. <laughs> If they bait her with this information, then she's gonna help out. I wonder how much they know about the the Phantom, right? And her backstory. They're setting up for like the second half of the season, right? Where the actual real arcs are with Origami, I think. Origami, no! She doesn't really have much of a choice. I don't even blame her right now for taking the offer. The more I think about it, <laughs> I feel like this Natsumi arc is kind of filler while they slowly set up the important shit with Origami and the DEM. <laughs> like, you know how constantly throughout the episode, there'll be like a 10 second clip of like DEM, Westcott, Elliot, Ellen, and doing all that kind of shit? <laughs> well, technically, Westcott does say Natsumi is like a priority, so I'm sure it all works out, but I'm just like, we're just hanging around having goofy time and there's a serious plot here and there. Origami is definitely gonna take the bait. She's gonna go in because she needs to get the, the the vengeance of her parents. But I wonder, is that backstory really true? How much of it is really true? Who is this mystery phantom figure? How much do they know? Was Westcott behind all of this? I don't really know. But the real threat is they're going to drop eight satellites onto our city. Let's see what's going to happen then. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Then until next time, take care.